There's no doubt about it that tropical storms provide some of nature's most impressive natural phenomena, especially destructive, of course, when they intensify to the state of being typhoons or hurricanes. But there are certain key ingredients required for the formation of tropical storms, primary of which is sea surface temperatures of at least 26 Celsius. We need a cluster of thunderstorms. We need the spin of the earth to be involved, and we need light wind shear, that's to say, light winds way up in the atmosphere. Now, first, the sea surface temperatures above 26 Celsius, that only happens in tropical regions of the world. Then we need that cluster of thunderstorms. They can be quite disparate at first, but then they organize themselves into a bigger storm system. They get together, and then the Earth's rotation generates that spin, and the, the storm system starts to revolve in this direction. And then, of course, we need the factor that the winds are off, the wind shear, is not too strong because if the winds were too strong it would rip the storm apart so these winds then carry the storm system in a certain direction breeding off those high sea surface temperatures and intensifying the storm further and further and what does that mean well of course the effects of a tropical storm a typhoon a hurricane extremely strong winds around the core the eye of the storm colossal amounts of rain and huge huge potentially destructive waves